What is up everyone? I am Joseph and welcome back to another episode of the Aftermath series. In this series, I attempt to analyze specific updates long after they've been released and after the dust has settled and see how they've affected the game's economy. Or I try to at least. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about Ultra Compost. Now, before we get into the numbers, I want to give a brief overview on what Ultra Compost actually does for those who aren't aware. So Ultra Compost was released uh, along with the Fossil Island updates. It's created by adding two volcanic ash to a super compost or by using the fertile soil spell while having two volcanic ash in your inventory, assuming you've unlocked that spell by purchasing it at the Volcanic Mine Rewards Store. So in general, Ultra Compost is the next level up of compost from Super Compost. And in this game, compost has two primary features. It's used in farming and it acts to reduce the death rates of your plants and there's some math that goes on behind the scenes but in general super compost gives you a one in seven chance that your plants will die and ultra compost improves that to a one in ten chance so about a four percent uh, less chance that your plants will die. The second thing that compost does is it increases the minimum yield for your variable yield plants, such as herbs. And I want to take a minute and really explain what that means. So if you're harvesting your fruit tree, there's a set amount of pieces of fruit that you'll get from that tree. The number is six. But if you're harvesting your herbs, it's a little bit different. Now, I don't know the exact numbers that go into this equation, uh, but imagine that each herb has a set amount of lives. And every time you pick an herb, you have a 50% chance to lose a life. What compost does is it increases the amount of lives you have. So for example, if super compost gives you five lives, that gives you a minimum yield of five because every time you pick, you have a 50% chance to lose a life. And if you lose a life every single time, you'll only get five, but you'll get a minimum of five. Now, Ultra Compost raises that up by one. So let's say you have six lives. So basically you have a minimum yield of six. Now, there's other things that can adjust the amount of lives you have, and I don't really know if those are the exact numbers used, but that's the way to think about it, is that your plants have, or your herbs have a specific amount of lives, and using compost gives it a higher percentage to not lose a life, or just gives you more lives, however that actually works behind the scenes. So that's really what Ultra Compost does and what compost does in general in this game. So now let's take a look at how Ultra Compost has affected this game since its release. So for simplicity's sake, I'm only going to look at three different herbs, and those herbs are Renars, Snapdragons, and Toad Flax. The reason I picked these is that Renars and Snapdragons are usually the highest profit yielding herbs you can do for herb runs, and Toad Flax are just commonly used herbs. Since their seeds are cheap and their herbs are a little bit higher in price, it's easier to stockpile those seeds, so a lot of people do those as well. So that's the reason I picked those three. So on screen, you can see a little table that I've put together, and I want to walk through this table and really explain what the different fields mean. So on the top, you can see we have the super compost yield for each herb, and on the bottom is the ultra compost. So if we take a look at the first column here, this is the profit that you would get if you used super compost on a Renar patch, uh, before September or before the release back as September 1st. Now, if you take a look at the next column, this is the profit that it currently is using super compost on the top and ultra compost at the bottom. Now, you can see that there is a drastic drop in profit from using super compost before and now. And that makes sense. You are now getting more herbs than before. So obviously the price will vary a little bit. But what interests me is the very slight change from using super compost then and ultra compost now. And we can see this very slight change if we look at Snapdragons. Snapdragons were around 21.6K before using Super Compost, and now using Ultra Compost, it's about 20.2. Now, the exact numbers change pretty much day to day, but in general, two months after the release, there's only about a 6% change, and in this case, it's a loss. And if you look at Toad Flax, it's very similar. The profits from using Super Compost before is pretty much what the profits using Ultra Compost is now. Now, what does this really mean? And in general, it means that Ultra Compost doesn't have much of a place in this game. And let me explain why I, I come to that conclusion. 
Doing herb runs in old school RuneScape is really just a way to not only generate profit while doing farming, but also to bring herbs into the game. So just increasing the number of herbs that you're farming is really doing nothing other than increasing the amount of herbs in game. So looking at these numbers, we can see that it's not increasing the benefit of doing herb runs at all. Really, it's actually taking a step back to where if you're doing things the same and don't change what you're doing, you're making less money. Now, the reason for this is obvious. There's more herbs in the game with a similar demand. The price is going to naturally drop. However, this really doesn't affect your farm runs. So what does this affect? Since the price or the profit that you made with super compost before is almost identical to what you're making now with ultra compost, what did this update do? And really the biggest thing that this update did is lower the price of potions. And it did this because obviously there's more herbs into the game, lower herb prices naturally that directly correlates to the price of the potions that they make, which in this case are prayer potions, super restores, and serodomin brews. Now the price of serodomin brews is relatively stable. And the reason I would give for this is that they had just come off of a huge drop in price. So the market for these was still a little fragile. Earlier this year, in about July, there was a huge drop, about 2K, and now they're slowly kind of evening out. However, they're rebounding very slowly because there are just so many more toad flax herbs in the game that the, the potions can't keep up. The demand for the potions just isn't there, even though the supply is so much higher. That is one situation where the, the potion has remained relatively stable or has even gone up in price. However, for prayer potions and super restores, these have only gone down since the release of Ultra Compost. Again, I did use these herbs specifically due to their popularity in general for herb runs. But even looking at a lot of the other herbs, you can see a downward trend starting again at that date. One exception to this would be torstals uh, and torstal seeds, which has, have actually gone up in price since the release of Ultra Compost. But I would say that is more of an edge case since it does have such a high level requirement to actually farm them. And that is really the only one that has jumped up in price like it has. Uh, so why am I saying all that? It's really to just question what the effect of this update was. And like I said before, I really don't know if it really fits into the game or has a place. It really hasn't changed anything compared to before. Profits for herb runs are very similar, and the only thing it's really done is reduce the price of more popular um, herb potions. So for example, Renars and Snapdragons are popular herb run herbs, and it's reduced their potion price due to the fact that there's just more of them coming into the game. I'm not sure what the intended result of Ultra Compost was, but it's really done nothing and changed nothing compared to what life was like before other than Iron Man. Iron Man obviously gets uh, more herb yields from their seeds, so it's really good for them. However, for a main account, I don't really see the benefit of having Ultra Compost in the game. It's really not adjusted the profit margins really too much, and all it's really done is change some of the potion prices. But that is all I have to say about that. If you guys have any thoughts on this topic, be sure to leave it in the comments below. I'm interested to see what other people have to say. I definitely am not claiming that I know everything, so if I'm missing something, be sure to let me know in the comments below. But that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I will see you next time.